once again we back at it again this is my two cents and if you see in the con in the topic my two cents it's not gonna be a very long one it's gonna get straight to the point my two cents about Diddy's lawyer and how I felt since this whole thing began if you want to hear my two cents hit the like button comment share this video and subscribe and this is the only comment or the opinion I have on the Diddy situation I have and the opinion I have it's not on Diddy it's on his attorney on his attorney my two cents when it comes to Diddy's attorney um when everything broke and Diddy got arrested um, he said, I, I don't know if he was on a show, but he said he wasn't Diddy's attorney at first. Someone else was. Probably one of Diddy's biggest mistakes was hiring him as attorney and firing his old attorney, whoever his old attorney was. He should have he shouldn't have made a mistake. Because everything this attorney has done, it has cost Diddy something. And at this point, Diddy don't have any options. Somebody need to take over for Diddy. Like, his children, his mom. His mom is having heart issues now at this point. She's probably so stressed about her dang old son. She's in the hospital. But somebody needs to assist Diddy with his decision makers right now. Because his attorney is awful. Let's start from the beginning. So, first, his attorney gets, who was he talking to? He was doing an interview. I forget the interview he was doing. But he was doing an interview. And he was saying he knew this was coming down the pipeline. Since the video came out I believe. And so when the video came out. He decided then. That Diddy needed to turn himself in. So he did, he convinced Diddy to. Move back to New York. And this went on. The chaos has begun. So Diddy end up moving back to New York. He convinced him the bright idea was to turn himself in to make himself look a certain way in front of the pub, in front of uh, the state district or whatever, um, that he's not a flight risk. So come to New York, turn yourself in. And then he still didn't turn himself in. The prosecutors decided to pick him up instead of him turning himself in. Okay. I see we was trying to do that, but somehow he still didn't turn himself in and still got picked up. So, strike one. Strike two, you try to get him out on bail. The first one didn't go like you wanted. Then you did a second one for another bail. And I think Nick and Knight covered what was said in the video during the trial. I mean, during, the, during that portion of things, if that's what you call it, a trial, a bail hearing. Doing your bail. So instead of actually trying to convince the judge why he'll be a good idea for him to be out on bail, you turn everything about Cassie and like, they was in a relationship. They had a Bobby and Whitney relationship. You are his attorney. The, the judge asked you specific questions. And your response to the judge was. They had a Bobby Whitney relationship. She asked for it. She stole his bag. That was his bag he was running after. That's the defense. That's the defense. After. When you're trying to get your. Your person out of jail. And I get everything that you were trying to throw at the judge. Like, he's on house arrest. No female visitors. 500, what is it, $50,000 bail. It was a whole bunch of stuff he was throwing at the judge. The judge was like, no, I'm not convinced. He did a poor job convincing not one, but two judges to release him. So this is already strike two. You're at strike two. Fast forward to now... Maybe, what, a, a week ago? If it was even a week. You went on and did an interview. You He did an interview speaking on the baby oil. 
and was like, I don't know why my client had a, a thousand bottles of baby oil. I mean, he buys in bulk. Have you even talked to your client for you to get on national TV? You're supposed to be making your client look better. Instead of making your client look better, you're making your client look worse. You're talking, I don't even know why my client had a thousand bottles of baby oil. What the fuck do you mean? There's a Costco at every corner. He buys in bulk. Do you know that for sure? Or are you just pulling shit out of your ass and you're just saying stuff? Because I don't, why would you even get on national TV and say that? If you don't have something positive to say about your client, why are you even on TV? Then you're doing the downfall of Diddy documentary. Talking about your client. Why are you on the downfall of Diddy on Tubi with TMZ? Talking about your client. Why? Can somebody explain that to me? And you're not, again, making your client look good under no circumstances. You're... Constantly getting online, making your client look worse and worse. Not He's already bad enough. It's already bad enough for your client. But you constantly try getting on TV, saying stuff that makes him look even worse. If you don't have anything good to say about your client, don't say it all. Then you're talking to TMC, what, yesterday? And you say, he's not going to take a plea deal. He's only going to, he wants to go to trial and get on stand. Let me stop you. Let, let's stop you for a second. Why? Let, let's, let's think about this. They're saying there's a, a tape being shopped around. Shouldn't that be at the feds right now? Shouldn't that be turned over to the feds? Because don't the fed need all this stuff? That's what this case is about. But someone's shopping around a sex tape. Shouldn't that be with the feds? But that's not confiscated. Like, you his attorney. Shouldn't you be getting that evidence that's being shopped around with a high name, her pie purse's name on it? Why is that even in the blogs? Should that not be subpoenaed for the courts? Why do somebody have a tape of your client's with a higher profile person on it being shopped around to the blogs. I'm missing something. And then you say he's not going to take a plea deal. He wants to get on the stand and defend himself. This is noble. It's noble. But how does that make sense when it said, well, you just got, and I'm sure you're going to get. They said someone just filed a lawsuit. I forgot the state. I don't know if it was Texas. Of 50 people finna file a lawsuit against Diddy. 50 and then a hundred more. A hundred more people? And you talking about your client is going to want to take the stand? How in the hell is he going to defend himself against all of this? The best thing to do at this very moment is to take a plea deal and just just do it. Just do your time. Just do like 10 years, get it out of the way. Take a plea deal because it's too much at risk right now. Like, what are we doing? Why are we doing this? You want your client to go on the stand and, and get cross-examined with, with 50 and 100 witnesses and what? You want this to explain probably be stuff that they probably won't even remember. It's too many people. It's too many people. And you want him to go to the stand with all of this? It's too much. If it was just Cassie, but this has got way, this is bigger than Cassie now. Bigger than Cassie. But you convinced your, your person to go on stand and fight this. That's what you did. I don't, I, don't see, I don't see any benefit of it at all. I don't see it. 
So from the beginning, I said he was already in strike three, strike four. He was already he already lost to me. He already did that. Okay. So you're telling me you're finna do you're you're doing your client in. So I was watching this actually this morning. Uh, what is his name? Oh my god. His name escaped me. I watch his videos all the time. He do pop culture stuff. He's from New York. I can't even think his name. I'm so sorry. But I know who I'm thinking of. And he just did a video on who is Diddy's lawyer. He feels the same way I felt. He felt the same way. I didn't do a deep dive into the lawyer. But I was just like, this lawyer is awful, in my opinion. Like, he needs a better attorney who's, like, cutthroat, who knows how to deal with all of this. I say because I don't know exactly. I didn't know what his lawyer was, like, specialized in or what his lawyer was doing or, you know. you know, I didn't know any of that. I didn't deep dive into him. But I just, just looking at him, I was like, I just, this, this, this case is too big for this attorney. He may need a younger one, a more fresher one who can deal with a lot, you know, deal with all this because this is bigger than his attorney. Or his attorney need like a second chair. Like he needs somebody to assist him to make decisions because his decisions or bad decisions one after another after another after another so uh diddy people diddy people diddy people i'm gonna need y'all to assist diddy whoever's left whoever is in diddy's corner his baby mamas his mama his children his if if he have anybody left that's on payroll I'm going to need somebody to assist Diddy and go and see him at the, at, the, at, the, at the jail. Sit him down and tell him the real. You need a new attorney. We're going to try to find you a new attorney and a better attorney. Because from what the video was of who is, who is Diddy's attorney, he only won Three times in, what, 30 years or something? That's not good. That's who you want to be your lawyer in trial? And he's making these little bitty mistakes. That's who you want to take you to trial? Mm -mm. You need somebody fresher. A fresher pros uh, defense attorney. Like a fresher one. Who's been in the business long enough but can handle all of this. Because your attorney is doing an awful job. And they said his attorney took over. He was the attorney for, I think, one of the housewives' husband. And his house, for the same thing, sex trafficking or, or something. It was, I think, the same thing that Diddy's in jail for. Baby. And he lost that case and that man got 40 years. So he's making the same mistakes, the same freaking mistakes. So if Diddy wants some kind of chance, some kind of chance, Diddy need to switch an attorney. Even if it's to just lessen the amount of years he's going to have. Because there's no way I don't, I don't see Diddy walking. I don't see Diddy getting out of this. I don't see Diddy walking free. I don't see, I don't see any of that. I see Diddy getting some time. How long? Determines his attorney. It determines his attorney at this point. I've seen better attorneys on TikTok. I'm for real. I've seen better attorneys on TikTok talking about this case. Breaking this case down. Than the attorney you got. No. Diddy people. Somebody needs to go. And help Diddy. Because Diddy's in bad shape. His lawyer is going to screw him royally. And that's real talk. His lawyer's going to screw him. Go and help him. Somebody help him. Help him please. Somebody help Diddy. My two cents. I was trying to think if there's more that I wanted to say. I'm sure that he is. I just can't, I can't think of it right at this very moment. So I'm just going to end it here. That is what I really thought about. 
you know, because I don't really have any thoughts about his case in particular because it's just too much. It's just too much. I need to take a break from Diddy and everything that it is Diddy. I'm like, so, but I, my, my concern was his attorney. That was my concern. Um, so that's my two cents. I hope y'all have a good day and yeah, help Diddy. Somebody help Diddy. Somebody help Diddy. That's my two cents.